Over to my right here, you'll see there's a manhole cover that is literally floating as water continues to pour out of the sewer. Across underneath the, the railroad tracks, there's a car that is definitely flooded. No one is in it, luckily. In the 25 years he's attended the event, he has never seen a crowd this spirited, and he found it very moving. It's tough to fully enjoy the festivities without being able to go out on the pier. There's a lot of activity here. There's a hazmat team as well as the police and fire departments. Jackos first hit a car and then drove directly into the hedges. There's actually still a tire mark on the sidewalk from the accident. The school was given $800,000 from the state, which allowed them to reopen their doors. However, he says during the closing, 313 workers were put on furlough. A tractor trailer was illegally driving on the parkway and struck that overpass. The woman who was driving behind the truck says today she's just happy to be alive. The Westport All-Stars have just punched their ticket to Williamsport, Pennsylvania and the Little League World Series. A packed house here saw a pitcher's duel which eventually turned Westport's way, ending in a 1-0 game. There are still delays. Most of the people we talked to said they were very excited it's a Friday, so they get a break from what one called a commuter's nightmare. As for her favorite musician? Oh, Blue Eyes. But hey, you know him as Frank Sinatra. In Westport, Charles Gora, Mobile 12. News 12 Connecticut's Charles Gora is at the crash site on Charter Oak Avenue. Charles, neighbors say they cannot believe what they saw. Brandon, people have been out on their lawns throughout the neighborhood coping with this tragic plane crash. Many say they're used to planes flying over their homes in Indetweed Airport, but we spoke with one woman who said she saw this deadly flight make its final descent. Today was a rainy day. Louie likes to go to the skate park. Angela Wordy's ordinary day with her sons took a shockingly sad turn when she stepped out onto her deck. This is where the plane was coming in right from this direction and he was so low so I'm getting my towels and I see the plane. It looked like it was coming for me. Seconds later she says she knew sounds coming from the twin engine plane meant something wasn't right. Immediately you just heard the explosion. Her first reaction was to grab her two-month-old Mateo and 11-year-old Louie. Immediately I knew I had to grab the kids and get out of the house because the flames were just very big that I can see from my deck. She then rushed down to the scene of the crash just five houses down Charter Oak Avenue. I was the first one down there when the mother was on the front lawn screaming that her two children were in the home. Yeah. Dennis Carjanis was also outside the house he described as a fireball. I was asking the lady who was pounding on the ground and delirious, where are your kids, where are your kids? And she couldn't point out in which direction the kids were. And as sad as Wordy is for her neighbor's lost children, she's thankful for her own. It's kind of like a seesaw. I, I'm, I'm feeling grateful that I have my two children, but at the same time, I'm sorry for the two um, that were in the home, the two children that were unable to be saved. An old-fashioned record shop in Westport soon will be closing its doors. Sally's Place has been on Main Street for 27 years. News 12 Connecticut's Charles Gora spent the day at Sally's Place. And Charles, many of their customers came to the store today after they learned about the closing. Tom, all day people have been coming through this door to come and tell Sally White how sad they are to hear that this old music store will soon be gone. White says one of her clients even called all the way from Israel. Many of those clients say it'll be very tough to say goodbye to what they call a musical institution. <laughs> Mike, do you have uh, Stanley Turntains? Don't mess with Mr. T. At Sally's Place, you'll typically be welcomed by the smooth sound of jazz. It's a traditional music shop you don't typically see anymore. Let me call my guy, okay? Owner Sally White says connecting people with the music they love is what she values most. Yeah, he's, he's only got one in stock right now, but he'll get the other. We call it passion because it was never about money. The store is filled with records and CDs of all genres. I've got international, I've got reggae, i got Spanish, i got Irish, i got uh, Israeli. And even if you can't find the album you're looking for, White will hit the phone searching. These are all special orders. And my track record is amazing. But unfortunately, that record will stop after the summer, when White closes the store. I'm a little overwhelmed by this whole thing right now. She says online music purchases are taking over her old school sales. That is the main, main, main reason, because it just has been overwhelming. This guy brought this into me 15 years from Harlem. And while her customers will miss the classic way of picking up their music, they say it's White's character that has always carried the highest tune. Don't miss it. 
Main Street gonna miss her too. I'm gonna miss her. I really am gonna miss her a lot. You're still a legend, and you're gonna always be a legend. Thanks, babe. And the Charles residents are saying that after the, the horrible shooting in that town last year, this was a, a good way to get the, the community back together. Roger, thousands of people turned out to watch organizations from around the state march down Queen Street in the town's 52nd annual Labor Day Parade. They say while the national holiday drew them to Newtown, it was just as important to show how much they care for the community hit hard late last year. It's a big deal. This is the first time I think as a whole community everybody's together after December 14th. A community together in celebration. It's larger. There's a lot more people. For the kids, it didn't hurt to have a sweet tooth. Well, you know, you get you get candy and you get this stuff and you also get to watch, you know, the floats that they beautifully made over the past year. Thousands came out to the 52nd annual Newtown Labor Day Parade. Governor Daniel Malloy made his way down Queen Street, as did Connecticut's top young baseball players, the Westport All-Stars. But after the tragic shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary, residents say this parade meant more than in years past. I think it's very good that they get the community out. It's necessary for all of us. Some who were in the parade say the event filled with animals and wild outfits was also a chance to bring the town together with smiles on people's faces. It was so fun and I love being able to help people and they get to like cheer us on and it's just a lot of fun. You get to support our community and everything. Even a bit of rain didn't stop dancing in the street, which for most spectators symbolized just another step in the right direction. We're all here to, to celebrate life, to celebrate the town and, and what this is and so what this town means to all of us.